Hey guys, before we start the video, I just want to apologize for not uploading a video in around two months. I've had so much work to do with school. I've had like star tests and other big projects. I'm in the IB program, so we have a lot of stuff to do, and I play sports as well. So you all should be expecting better and more videos coming soon. And thank you so much for staying subscribed to me. So let's begin this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is you want to download the metal texture which we'll be using as our background and the link for this will be in the description below. And you can either download the image right here or you can right click and go to save image as and save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. The next thing we'll, we need to download is the font and we'll be using the font tone do and if you don't know how to install a font I have a tutorial for that and the link for the video will also be in the description below and you just want to click download so that's all we need to download and now we can open up Photoshop so the first thing you want to do is go to file new and you want to change the size to 700 pixels by 700 pixels and we'll click OK the first thing you need to do is click on your paint bucket tool and you want to change the foreground color to C E C E C. So C E C E C E. And we'll click OK. And now you want to switch to your background. So you want to click on the arrows. And you want to click on that. And you want to change this to 949494. Four, and click OK. And now you want to click on the arrows again to switch the colors. And you want to just click on um, your layer, which will change the color. And now what you want to do is go open your uh, go open your metal texture. So you want to drag the metal texture to your uh, dock to your layer, and you want to size it so it fits the whole fits the entire layer. And click OK. And you want you want to change the blend mode of the layer to color burn. And you want the opacity at around 50%. 50 percent. So now what we're gonna do is create our text layer. So you want to click on the T, which um, is the text layer, and you want to put the font as tone do, and you want the color at F4 EDD2 which is like a beige color and click OK and for this I'm just going to be using my name and I'm going to center it to the middle you can use whatever size you want let's make it like pretty big and whatever word you want and now we're going to create a new we're going to create a duplicate layer so you can either right click and go to duplicate layer or you can just click Control J and it automatically duplicates the layer. And we want to click on the original layer. You want to double click on that. And we're going to be changing the layer style. So you want to go to Drop Shadow. You want to change the blend mode color to 979797, which is a grayish color. And you want to change the distance to 38 pixels. Now we're going to go to bevel and emboss. And you want to change the style to stroke emboss. You want to change the depth to 755%. And you want to change the gloss contour. So you want to click on that. Oops, sorry. You want to click on the arrow. And click on the one where, um, click on the inverse one. So it looks like it's going, the cone inverted and you want to click on anti-alias and now we're just going to go to stroke and you want the size at around 5 pixels and you want the color at F4EFDE oops I typed that one wrong F4EFDE and you want to click OK and then just click OK. 
So now what we're going to do is you want to go to file, new, and we're going to create another, uh, a new layer. And you want the width at around 75 pixels by 75 pixels. And you want to base, zoom in to around 200%. And we're going to click on our, our rectangular marquee tool. And you just want to create little squares. So here is my first square. And if you see on the top, you want to click on the add to selection so that you can keep creating the squares without the other one deleted. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. So as you can see that's that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now you want to change the the background. You want to go to the paint bucket tool and you want to change the color to black. And you just want to click and it automatically turn on black. And now you can click Control D to deselect it. And you want to go to Edit, Define Pattern. And we're just going to name it as Rectangular Pattern. And click OK. So now we're going to go back to our original document. And we're going to go back to the we're gonna go we're gonna click on the copy layer and you wanna double click to open up the layer style. And we're gonna be changing the like the first five styles. So you wanna go to drop shadow first. And you wanna change this color to seven nine seven nine seven nine. You want the and you wanna click OK. You want the distance at four and the size at around seven pixels. And now you wanna go to inner shadow. For the inner shadow, again, you want to change the color to like a grayish color, and it will be 606060. We'll click OK. You want the distance at 0, and you want the size at around 15. Yeah, 15. And now you want to go to outer glow. So for outer glow, we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. And we want to change the color as well. And we're going to change it to 9C9696. So basically all the colors we're changing to is a, a different shade of gray. And now you want to go to inner glow. And you want the blend mode again at multiply. And you want to change the color again to D1, D1, D1. And now you want to go to bevel and emboss. And all you want to do is change the size to around 25 pixels. And for shadow mode, you want to change the color to D1 CDB8. And you want to click OK. So now you want to click OK again. Oops. Wait, you want to go back to the layer style? and you want to click on texture and for the pattern we're going to use a pattern that we made which is the rectangular pattern and you want to change the scale to a smaller size where you can see like small just lines so we can see the like just lines to add a nice effect to it and you want the depth at around 5 Or I'm gonna put it at 10, and one click OK. So it gives the test the text a sort of stuffed look. Now you want to control click on the thumbnail of the duplicate layer, which will select all of the um all of the text. And you want to click create new layer, and you want to change the blending mode to multiply. Now you want to click on your your rectangular marque tool. And on the top, you want to change it to intersect with intersect with selection, which is the last one. And you want to highlight, or you want to put a box over the first letter, which will only select that. And now you can change it to whatever color you want. 
So I'm going to change it to a light blue. You want to go to your paint bucket tool and you want to click. And you want to go, you want to double click on the layer, which will open the layer style. And here you want to go to inner shadow. You want the blend mode and multiply. And you want to change the the color to basically the color that you made except a little darker. That's good. Want to click OK. You want the distance at zero. You want the choke at around 15%. And you want the size at around 18 pixels. And now you want to go to gradient overlay. You want the blend mode at soft light. And you want to click on the gradient, and you want your first layer to match the color with the with the text. It doesn't have to be exact; it's not a big deal, as long as it's close to the same color. And you want the second color to be black. I'll click OK. And you want the scale at 150 percent, and you want the style at radial. And you want to click OK. So now it gives the text a more a vivid look. So now we're going to repeat the steps with all the other letters. So you want to go back to the um, copied layer and we'll control click on the thumbnail. And you want to create an, a new layer and you want the blending mode at multiply again. And you want to go to the marquee tool basically repeat the exact same process and just click on the letter that you want and for this I'll just be doing a yellow color that's pretty cool I'm going to get the paint bucket okay. you want to right click on the M layer and you want to go to copy layer style and you want to paste it on the the next letters so Paste layer style. And you want to double click to open up the uh, layer styles. And you just want to change the colors to um, the color that you chose. So we go there. Gradient over. And click OK. And you just want to repeat the process for the next two letters. After choosing all the colors, you want to change the foreground color again. You want to change it to D7D0C0 and click OK. And you want to pick the line tool. So you can right click and it should be the second to last one. And you want the weight at around 7 pixels. And for here, we're going to make like a hanging rope. So you can put it wherever you want on the letter. So I'm going to start. Right here, and now you want to double click on the the layer to open up the layer style, and you want to go to drop shadow. And for blending mode, we're going to want multiply, and you want to change the color to nine seven nine seven nine seven, and click OK. And you want the angle at negative 16 degrees. And you want to uncheck the global light box. You want the distance at around 38 pixels. And now you want to go to inner shadow. For inner shadow, we are changing the blend mode to multiply again. And for the... Um, for the color you want 6A, 6A, 6A and click OK. You want the distance at 0 pixels, the choke at 0 pixels and the size at 5. Now you want to go to bevel and emboss. For this all we're going to do is change the highlight mode to overlay.
And that's all for that. Now we're gonna go to contour. And you don't need to change anything. You wanna go to texture. And we're gonna choose the same pattern that we chose for the letters, which is the rectangular pattern. And you want the scale just like the um just like the letters so there's little lines. And you want it to where it looks like a rope effect. And you want the depth at around 50. Or actually, I'm going to, yeah, you want the depth at around 50%. Or however you like it, really. Now you want to go to color overlay. And for the color, you're going to change it to the color of the letter. So I'm going to try to change it to a blue color. Make it a little darker. And click OK. And you want to click OK. And you want to set the the layer below the the letter so that the rope looks like it's coming from behind. So just like that, so it looks like a rope is hanging on it. And you can change it on any position you like. I might just do it just from the middle. And you want to repeat this step with um, every other letter. So you just want to, you can right click and go to duplicate layer, and then you want to move it to the other letter. You want to double click, and all you need to do is change the on color on color overlay. All you need to do is change this the color of the rope. So I'm going to change it to a yellow. It's okay. So that looks good. And then you want to duplicate it again. You can also press Control J if you would like, and it automatically duplicates. So for this, I'm going to change the color to red. Okay. And the last one. And I'm going to change it to green. So the text effect is coming to life and it looks pretty cool. And basically you are done with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the this tutorial and there will be many more to come. Again, I'm sorry for not making videos recently. I will try to upload as many as I can and they will be based on like Photoshop tutorials and maybe some iPod tutorials and maybe just some random tutorials here and there. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.